Yo boys, let's talk about the best money making rods you should be fishing with right now in Roblox Fish. Alright, so let's start off in a beginner standpoint. I know that a new update just released and the new rod is a sunken rod. And the sunken rod, I'm gonna be honest, is not that worth it to get. I'll explain why later, you guys will find out. Anyway, when you just start off the game, you're gonna start off with a flimsy rod. The flimsy rod is obviously the base rod and it's not that good. You're gonna have to go fish until until you get enough money just fish you know sell your fish until you get enough money to buy this rod here this is a carbon rod now you're just gonna have to trust me on this one literally just ignore every other rod do not buy anything other than this carbon rod i made a mistake i actually went with the plastic rod and then skipped this because i got some help from fans but you know when, when you're uh, just starting off in this game i would say just get this carbon rod right here it has pretty good stats and it only costs two thousand which shouldn't honestly be that hard to get there's also some codes you can redeem in case you need help like code 200k that gives you a lot of different types of baits and that's just one of the new codes but yeah after you get that rod go fish again till you have enough money to afford a boat any type of boat it really doesn't matter because you just gotta get around now obviously i would say probably just get the robo i mean it gets a job done it's low but it doesn't really matter too much especially since if you're just starting off the game Anyway, once you've done that and you got your carbon rod, head over to Roselet, okay? There's another island if you just go straight over here. Roselet Bay, this is pretty much the next island you want to really grind at. And well, right over here is the next rod you want. And it's not that expensive either, to be honest. It might be a rod that doesn't look that pretty, but it is the best rod, uh, be best like mid, mid class rod you're ever going to have. And that's this one right here, the steady rod. You're going to stay with this steady rod for a very long time and i already own this i had this for the longest time here's my steady rod here i only have 260 catches and i have so much stuff like this trident rod that's mainly because i got a lot of help from other people but this steady rod you're gonna have for the most of your time like literally for a very long time it's only 7k and do the stats on this is pretty crazy because the max kg is pretty much almost infinite and the resilience is really good with 30 percent you get really good luck 35 percent the only bad part is a lower speed but i mean when it's really good resilience and really good luck and control it doesn't really matter that much honestly i've been using it this is like the one of the best rods you could get 100 percent so steady rod get it. it it may not look the prettiest like look at this compared to any other rod but get the steady rod and after the steady rod is a very expensive rod and that's going to be the mythical rod it's the next best one and it costs a hundred ten thousand you can only get it from the traveling merchant and it's a chance for it to pop up so here's a traveling merchant right here and this traveling merchant oh my gosh it's probably the most unluckiest traveling merchant i've ever seen there is no rods here so we're gonna have to look for another traveling merchant so i can show you this and this rod i actually skipped and went over to a trident rod i'll explain that but the reason why i skipped it is because there was no point in me buying that mythical rod when someone was literally just gonna open the door for the trident for me so it didn't really cost me that much for the trident so that i'll get into after i explain this mythical rod all right i found one right over here guys in someone else's private server here is traveling merchant it's honestly not even that rare like you will find one very easily and there it is a mythical rod now it costs 110,000. i could buy it right now but it is not worth it because i'm never really gonna use it but the thing about this that's really good is that it says right here all fish have a 30 percent chance to be a rainbow and 30 percent chance to be a rainbow is really good because rainbows multiply the value of your fish and on top of that the lure speed is not as bad as the steady rod is it's 45 percent luck control is 0 0.5 resilience 0 percent it's that is it's, it's all right it's at least not bad and then we got the max kg at 2000 so this mythical rod you are also gonna have for a very very long time until you could obviously get this trident rod over here now i made a little short video on how to actually get this trident rod it's a pretty lengthy process if you don't have all the supplies and everything you do need to have your index fully completed for desolate deep as you guys see over here i do not have it fully completed i have 83.3 percent the c mine i still need to get i just got this index currently from someone else but i need an index 
to myself. And this right here, I need to get this legendary. So I still have that stuff to do. If you guys are wondering how did I get this without getting those index, there's a door that someone has to open. And if you have a friend or someone random that can open it for you by using five enchant relics i have four but five enchant relics and have that index completed they can open the door for you and you just buy the trident for 150k so in case you want to see how to do that i'm not really going to waste your guys' time just go to my short video you can just click on my channel go to shorts or click on the normal videos depends on when you guys are watching this video i guess this is a good part to say make sure you guys are subscribed with your notifications on so you don't miss out on anything and well the trident rod is pretty much the best rod in the game i would say and then after the trident rod it just gets into a lot of special rods and a lot of just like flexing rods so i'm not really gonna talk that much about the flex rods like for example the no life rods and things like that all of that really has no use other than it just looks cool and you could just flex on random broke players but as for the sunken rod it's actually very simple to get it's not that crazy good but it's simple to get you just gotta fish here until you get a treasure map and the treasure map is extremely rare to get but you, all you have to do to get it is fish and you can fish literally anywhere and you have a small chance of getting a treasure map but obviously right now i'm probably not gonna get a treasure map i've been fishing for a very long time just trying to get that and i haven't got it same with a lot of other people i play with they haven't got it and no you cannot give uh, other players this so you can't trade for it or anything like that but anyway once you get a treasure map which good luck Look on getting you're gonna have to go to the new island and go to a pirate now the treasure map is gonna give you random coordinates and those coordinates aren't really gonna lead you anywhere unless you fix the coordinates and to fix it you got to talk to this pirate that's all the way up there in this island so to get up there you know you're just gonna have to do a lot of walking go all the way up here do a little bit of parkour and go to the pirate all right so we can just go right here walk on this pathway it's literally made for you to go to the pirate and it's gonna cost you some money not too crazy but here's a pirate right here right you talk to him and then he's you, you get an option to say can you fix my map for 250 obviously i don't have a map with me so i can't do anything with it but once he fixes your map it'll give you the exact coordinates to wherever you um need to go to find the treasure and then once you find the treasure it's a very small chance on top of that to get the sunken rod i'm not even joking yeah a small chance on top of a small chance and the sunken rod if you want to know what is it good for and the stats of it so if you look right over here you can see that the lure speed is 20 percent luck is 150 percent control is 0.5 and max kg is 5000 you can see just from these stats it's very similar to a rod i have and that rod i'm talking about is my trident rod now you guys know trident rod is extremely crazy rare, like crazy to get you gotta have like 150,000 cash plus all the enchant stones so that's kind of like two over two hundred thousand you need to have it's pretty insane and on top of that you have to complete the index so it's pretty crazy but the thing about this trident rod is that all fish have a 30 percent chance of being atlantean which multiply the value of your fish and yeah other than that the sunken rod pretty much has the same stats but the sunken rod has other type of passive stats so I don't know what to call it, like passive ability, I guess you could say, um, is that every 10 catches, you get a 25% luckier chance to pull a treasure map. And treasure maps give you a chance of getting some random stuff like baits or anything. And also a small chance of getting a sunken rod, which you probably can't get again since you already have one. And the thing about treasure maps is you can't really trade it or give it to people, at least from the time I'm recording this video. Because if you could, then a lot of people would probably give stuff for the treasure map, which would make it a lot more OP. So this rod, don't get me wrong, is a very good rod. It's just not a rod that you should be only targeting because i mean look you're, you're gonna be fishing no matter what anyway 
and d just don't be like, oh, I'm fishing only to get the treasure maps. You know, you're, if you get a treasure map, you get a treasure map. Just know what you have and then know what to do with your treasure map. And in case you don't know what to do with coordinates uh, and how to use coordinates, because I've seen some noob players. I'm not even joking. Noob players have treasure maps and I don't have a treasure map. So in case you're, I don't know, very lucky and got a treasure map. Well, le let me show you what to do. In the Moosewood Village, which is pretty much much like the base spawn island just go over here to this pond and right over here on the chair you can see a gps it only costs 100 cash and this gps once you equip it it pretty much tells you coordinates right here as you move and those are the coordinates you're going to be following in case you get your treasure map and then you go to the pirate and tell him to fix it you're going to be following these coordinates and that's how you're going to find your treasure just in case you guys didn't know just in case if you guys are new to the game anyway this next rod is going be the aurora rod and well in order to get this rod you need to find a strange whirlpool and the aurora event needs to happen and that's very rare so i have a friend in my server right now uh well not my server but i'm in my friend's server right now and he's very rich he has the aurora totem that costs five hundred thousand dollars and what he could do is spawn the aurora event whenever he wants so I want to make sure there is a whirlpool here. So then the moment he does that totem, I can go to whirlpool and get that rod. I actually have enough money to afford it too. It's 90,000 and I have 123,000. So let's make sure a strange whirlpool spawns in first. All right, boys, we got a very rich server over here, and they're going to be doing it. We also got this right here. This is a whirlpool. This is what's going to teleport us to the area to get the Aurora Rod, which this guy already has. That player already has. Everyone already has it except for me, bro, so I need to get it for myself. All right, th that's the guy right there that's going to be using Totem. He just said, I use now. Everyone's saying, yeah, use it, bro. Is everyone ready? Yeah, everyone's ready. Use it, bro. Use it 500K. Let's go. Let's see it. Let let's see you use it. In Moosewood? Uh, bro, 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 you're dragging it. <laughs> use the Totem. All right, I think he's doing it now. He just did the Sundial to speed up the cycle. All right, dude. Are you going to use the Totem? He should be doing it soon. There we go. Wait, okay, now it's nighttime. There it is, Aurora Boy. Alice, let's go. So over here now we have 6x luck just because of Aurora Borealis. So there's 6x luck, and everyone's obviously gonna be fishing for that, right? And on top of that, a lot of people um will be catching a lot of really good fish. Like right now, I just got a minus 50%. Watch this, guys. This was really first try, by the way, with my trident rod and the Aurora Borealis. First try, let's see what we get. Boom, we already got like the best fish you could get from that, which is pretty insane. So uh, now let's go teleport in here. And now that we teleport here during the Aurora Borealis, man, that's kind of hard, hard, dude. And oh, dude, they haven't even server boosted the server. Wow, they, they should be doing that. But anyway, while the server um, has Aurora Borealis, oh my gosh, I can't messed up with that. Right over here is the... No! No! Why did they do that? Oh my gosh, some troll just put that thing down. Are you serious, bro? They, 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 who's trolling? All right, well, the Aurora Borealis is still going on. So we could just go in there and then get the rod. Someone that is literally trolling put a teleporter there. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyway, let's go try again. And look, at everyone's pulling these out just because of the server luck. It's pretty insane. All right, teleport me in. There we go. All right, I just got to be careful of these, like, li li little trolls, bro. All right, there we go. Now we can get this Aurora Rod. All right, it's, uh, it's 90,000. Here's all the stuff. It's 15% chance you have Aurora Mutation, which is insane OP. There we go. Just bought it for 90,000. And now we got the Aurora Rod. God, let's go dude that's how it looks like this is the one i really wanted so now i'm gonna just buy the conch real quick and teleport out of here there we go guys i'll teleport over to my spawn which is the moose wood and then we go get our jet ski again right over here and then you got yeah i did thank you all right now we're gonna go right over here and start fishing with our rod that we just got right here boys and hope we get that uh, that same fish I just caught, but as Aurora, and someone just got one right there, bro. Alright, let's cast mine then. 
Oh, look at that, bro. Oh, no, I was about to lose it. Yo, okay, but there we go. We just got it right there. And this was a first try again, bro. Yo, this fish is low-key going pretty crazy. All right, it's a minus 50%, so I'm pretty sure this is it. Dude, it's still going crazy. Yo, chill. Holy. I need to enchant this rod low-key because, bro, it is so hard to catch this fish. Chill out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I just lost it. Are you kidding me? Holy, I just lost my streak. All right, we'll, we'll try that again. All right, there we go. Finally got it, bro. <laughs> okay, this one I didn't lose. And this one was actually Aurora. And there we go. This actually looks sick, bro. This one right over here, where is? I got so many Aurora different fishes. This one is actually nice. I'm probably going to sell this, to be honest. Or I might keep it for the collection. Not sure. I'll try to get some more, though. And then see how much money we can make off of this. Oh, I just caught another one, but this time it wasn't Aurora. That kind of sucks. And, all right. We'll, we'll keep trying, though, so that we can get Aurora. It's a 15% chance. I did get at least one. I'm still trying to fish some more. Uh, I for sure need to enchant those, though. I have four enchant uh, relics, so for sure gonna probably try to enchant this to, like, a steady or something. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, it is, a, I would say, probably somewhat equal uh, thing to do if you have a trident rod or aurora rod i mean it's an argument of what's better to use i would say you can't go wrong with any of them i mean use a trident rod or use the aurora rod you have a chance on getting for any of them to get a higher mutation with the trident rod it's a little lower mutation but you have a better chance on getting it like how you saw with my aurora rod with two of my catches i didn't even get the aurora and with my first catch i did so it depends on what you really uh just want to fish with to be honest for now i'm probably just gonna use the trident rod just because um i still need to enchant all my rods and right now it's a lot easier to catch with this rod like right there with the trident rod i got the atlantean like three three times in a row like it's actually crazy so trident rod it has a way better chance of getting atlantean it's just not as valuable but it's still very good and also the trident has more luck with it too so that helps Another really good spot to fish during the Aurora Borealis is just to go right here to Snowcap in this cave. Very good spot to fish. A lot of people catch colossal um, squids over here. I'm sure a lot of people here are probably going to start doing that. Let's see what we could catch here too. Not bad. Some of this stuff could sell for a lot of money. And I'm farming up XP. I want to get up to level 100. So looking good. All right. There we go. It just ended. People caught a lot of crazy stuff. Not going to lie. So that's pretty good. And it's done. So I'm not really going to get anything good from this now since the Aurora Borealis is done and I'm surprised they haven't done server luck bro if they done server luck we would have got so much more lucky I'm sure everyone here would have got so much more stuff anyway that's still pretty decent we got a lot of stuff over here and I'm gonna have to sell all this make some uh, of my money back since I spent 90k on the Aurora Rod but it's fine anyway that's gonna be it for this video so make sure you guys like subscribe comment comment down below any other questions or videos you guys want to see and that's pretty much gonna be it see you later peace